moving on to talking about challenges and obstacles. And I break these down into external and internal. So some of the um, external challenges and obstacles, of course, are the sexism and exclusion in the music industry. And I just pulled a few statistics on this as well to set the context. I'm sure more of you are familiar with this, but 67.8% um, of all music industry jobs are held by men. Membership of songwriters and composers in PRS for music, which is for songwriters, is only 13% female. It's for cop copywriting your music. Only 15% of label members in the Amer Association for Independent Music are majority owned by women. Statistics consistently show that women in music earn less than their male counterparts. And only of 321 members in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, only 44 to 14% are women. <laughs> that just seems ridiculous. <coughs> yeah. um, so we've got this context, right? Um, and, and this is the context in which these girls are seeking play music and become artists. And, and so what, what they can encounter is this space is not for me. This is a male dominated space. This is not comfortable for me. Um, and so we have that in the music industry, but then we also have that more generally in our society, right? And in our communities. Um, and we can see this even in terms of the kinds of programs that are available. And especially when it comes to technology and instrumentation, I think that so often um, boys get access to those things in a way that girls don't always, and so boys often feel more comfortable. And so if they go into a co-ed space, um, boys seem really comfortable with everything, and the girls don't know what's going on, and so then they, they pull themselves away and out of it. And that's why one of the things that we think is really important is to creating a space that supports girls that's gender specific, and then once they have knowledge and feel comfortable, they can go back into those co-ed spaces and feel competent, right? And hold their own. 